Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is my lecture video. I am Deepa Murugesh from Dr. S. N. S. Rajarishmi College of Arts and Science, working as an assistant professor. Here, I am just going to present a lecture video on Indian education by uh, Thomas Babington Macaulay. So, on second um, February, eighteen thirty-five, during eighteenth century, after the inv inv invasion of uh, British. Empire inside India, British historian and politician Th Thomas Babington Macaulay presented his minute on Indian education. The thought to establish the need to impart in English education uh, to Indian natives. So this minute is a very important document for UPSC aspirants uh, because uh, it has a great impact on Indian education and also the. Uh, it also helps to write IAS exams. So, yeah, British education pol policy in colonial India was initially almost non existent, as their sole purpose was to make profit only through trade. And later, gradually, the importance of education was appreciated, and the company started building a few institutes of higher learning. These learning centers taught Indian subjects in languages like Sanskrit. Arabic and Persian. Persian was also used as a court language uh, in 18th century. The Charter Act of 1813 was a first concrete step towards modern education in the country. So this act set aside an annual sum of rupees, one lakh to be used in education under the area subjects. So here after the Charter Act, there was a split among the British regarding the mode of education to be imparted to Indians. While a few people were so much cautious about the Oriental language system, because uh, below that Indians should be educated in their own language and taught their own scriptures and text, the other group decided that English education was the best kind of uh, to be imparted. It was in the midst of the, uh, the uh, it was in the midst that uh, where Macaulay landed in India in June 1834 as a president of a general community of uh, public instruction. So Macaulay was a very uh, proud Englishman, convinced of his own uh, nation's greatness and achievements, which he considered the best. Whether it was in the um, science or arts, nothing wrong with that, except that he has perhaps too prejudiced to see things from a different perspective. In his minutes on education, he justified the use of English as a medium of instruction and also the teaching of Western education to Indians. He is a sole responsible for Indian education policy and also he was uh, much uh, uh, criticizing, he lampooned about the systems of system of education in India. So he uh, uh, set of Indian literature, a single shelf of good European library was worth the whole native literature of India and Arabia. He also believed that the Western science was far superior to Indian knowledge. It is, I believe no exaggeration to say that the historical information which has been collected from all the books written in the Sanskrit language is of less value comparing the English education system. Of course, one must remember that these were not just in his own ideas and opinions. He was merely retreating what many things in the West thought. Macaulay wanted the government to spend money only on imparting Western education and not an Oriental education. He advocated the shutting down of the colleges where only Eastern philosophy and subjects were taught. So very clearly, Macaulay says that uh, Sanskrit is a typical language of uh, Indian uh, English literature. So he says that uh, Sanskrit is having a very lesser value comparing any other language. So he wants Western education to be implied, imposed inside India. He also wanted to create a pool of Indians who would be able to serve British interests and be loyal to them. This class would be like Indian in blood and color, but English in taste and opinion and morals and also their intellects. Macaulay's proposal was promptly accepted by Lord William Bentick, who was serving as a governor general in that period, but he cleverly deferred this implementation. Macaulay's proposals were officially sanctioned in March 1835. In 1837, English was made the court language. In 1844, high government posts were open to 
Indians. Later, uh, Macaulay obviously won the debate against the Orientalist. It would be an exaggeration to say that he see the ton of education in India for only goodness. This is how uh, Indian education system got rebuilt by uh, Babington Macaulay. Thank you.